I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be using the Millie and June collection. Right here I'm going to go ahead and trim down this paper. I'm going to use this on one part of my layout. It's going to be pretty basic, two-thirds, one-third-ish. It's probably a little bit more than two-thirds of this paper, but that's okay. And then I cut off a couple strips of this mint colored paper and a strip of this hot pink paper. Right here I am just using some cardstock I had picked up at Tuesday morning. Not sure what the brand is. I'm going to go ahead and put that paper down right there. Here I am going to pull out these strips. That is going to be a separation for the left hand side of that paper. I'm going to get this minty blue paper down just a little bit so it's a little bit shorter than the pink paper. I'm going to layer those together. I am going to be using a design that I have been using quite a bit lately and I don't know why. I cut some strips out and I'm going to layer those up behind my photo. This time when I did it, I took out two different punches. I took out a scallop punch and also a notebook edge punch. And I am going to punch randomly on the ends of the papers that I layer underneath the photo. Right here, I am going to pan away from that, but I am fussy cutting out some of those hearts that were on that paper. Here I am showing you this thread. That is where I stitched down the line of those two strips. And I also stitch around the border of the plaid paper. I'm using double-sided tape right here to put that down and the reason why is because I didn't actually stitch it onto the page I just stitched it by itself and I was afraid the stitching would cause a little bit of a problem with just regular ATG tape. This is a photo of Bailey and she is laying on the back of the couch and that's her favorite place to lay. She has a blanket right there we have to put the blanket over the couch because she will slip down in between the cushions and get stuck. We found that out by accident because she got stuck. <laughs> that was a pretty funny thing. So here I am trimming up these strips of paper and here is where I pulled out the punches. I am going to cut away from this so it is the whole deal is not shown. I punch out two of the notebook punches on one side and one or two on the other side and then I pull out this scallop punch and do the same thing. Now I'm going to take this away and sew up and down those strips. It doesn't really add much of anything and it's something I hear sitting here looking at it as something I could have skipped because you can't really tell. And this happens to me quite a bit. If you watch my videos you'll hear me say a lot, well I did this and it, it was a lot of time for a little bit of nothing and that's kind of how I felt about this stitching but it was mach machine stitching so it was not really all that much time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out these hearts. I'm going to move them around the page a little bit, trying to figure out where I want my clusters to be. Now these are all hearts that I had fussy cut out of that heart paper, like the one that is underneath that photo. So right here I went ahead and took the hearts back off and put them over to the side and decided I would go ahead and start working on my journaling. I just printed this out off my computer and cut it into strips and it is just going to go down the center of that right there. This is a little flare badge. Actually it's bigger than a normal size flare badge and it says my girl on it. Right here I'm showing you some Liquitex modeling paste and this stencil that is by Echo Park. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of stenciling with this modeling paste in the three areas where I wanted clusters to be. Now in the end this actually technically has four clusters because I put that badge up at the top left of that photo so I guess that's kind of a cluster of its own 
because it does end up with some enamel dots around it as well. So these are the three places where I'm going to end up putting these hearts. Right here I just did a freeze frame on those. I took all those hearts to my sewing machine and stitched down the center of all of them. I'm going to use this glossy accents to hold down this sticker. This is a puffy sticker that is from the Millie and June collection. And then when I put down these hearts, I am going to use hot glue for that because they are going directly over that modeling paste. And hopefully it does end up holding over time. So this little cluster right here has that heart sticker and then two of the fussy cut hearts. This little cluster right here, I'm putting three hearts in. I'm holding down that My Girl flare badge with glossy accents. And then I'm going to put three hearts right down on this area, up a little bit probably, I think. Right there is where they're going to go. So I have this little clip right here. It's kind of a mint color and it says love on it. It's a binder clip. I was going to stick it at the top of that page later. You'll see it's missing. I just went ahead and took it off. Decided I didn't want it to be there. Here's some, uh, these are puffy alphas and they are part of the million June or they came with my million June kit. And that is what I'm going to spell out my title with. It says couch sitting. I'm going to use this Scotch Quick Dry to hold that down. I did not put it over any of the modeling paste. Right here is another one of the puffy hearts and I'm going to layer a fussy cut heart underneath of it. These are some little bows. They're like DIY bows. They come already cut. You just punch them out of the paper and then you have to assemble them. I ordered a Noel Mion kit. I don't remember what month it was, but these came in that kit. They are a part of the Millie and June, I believe. And I have like, in this kit, they gave like, I don't know, I want to say 20, probably even more than 20 of these bows. And I am never in a million years probably going to use them all. I did get three of them used up on this layout, so I felt really good about that. So I'm going to take off these puffy stickers. They're kind of like a puffy enamel type deals. They're not enamel, but they're puffy. There are circles with a heart cut out in the center and then also hearts. And I scatter those around the page. After I do that, I don't do anything else to the layout. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.